This is the story called The Little Monsters, Part 12. The kids are excluded from school. <coughs> it's the first day back at school after the summer holidays. As usual, the kids don't want to be there. For the first couple of weeks, they go to school every day, but they soon get bored, staying at school during break times. Although the school gets a lot, the kids know another way. Another way out, and every day they made a bid for freedom. They went to, to the swing and the old skate park. They always made sure that they were back at school before the end of break so they wouldn't get caught. Of course, their teacher was none the wiser. After about three weeks, Mrs Applejack suddenly realised that none of the little monsters gang were there during morning playtime. But by the time it was over with, they were back. Mrs Applejack asked the kids, Where were you kids at playtime? Kika said, We were cold, miss, so we went inside. OK, as long as you didn't leave the school premises. No, we didn't, miss, said Creeper. Every day after that, the kids left school to play on the swing and at the old skate park. After a few weeks, Mrs Applejack spotted the kids sneaking back into school. She decided not to say anything, but she kept an eye on them. However, the kids had seen her watching them when they sneaked back into school, so they knew that she'd be keeping an eye on them. For the whole week, they didn't leave the school premises. Then one day, Creeper found another way off the school premises, a way that no one would see them because there was no windows in that part of the school and it was away from the school playground. She told the rest of the gang and every, every day after that they left the school the new way they'd found. All their parents worked full time so their houses were empty during the day. As it was winter and it was bitter cold they took it in turns to play at each other's houses. However, one day they were playing at Kicker's house when she saw her mum coming down the street in her car. She told the, the others and everyone quickly grabbed their coats and bags and hid in the back garden. Thankfully she didn't see them and she was only in the house for a few minutes. As soon as she was gone the kids made their way back to school, thankfully without getting caught. A few days later they were all at Creeper's house when their mum came home unexpectedly. She saw the kids and she asked them why they weren't at school. Creeper said, I forgot my homework and my PE kit so we all came back to get them. She made them all get in the car and she took them back to school. When they got there Mrs Applejack was busy talking to another teacher so thankfully she didn't see them. Every day they continued to do the same thing. Then one day the little bully saw them. He grabbed Stumpy and said to him, Where have you and your friends been? Stumpy said, It's none of your business, now let me go. The little bully had him pinned to the wall. As soon as Kika saw what was going on, she went over and said to the little bully, Get off him now and leave him alone. The little bully said, who's going to make me? I am. Now let go of him, said Kicker. The little bully said, no, I won't. Kicker grabbed the little bully and pulled him off Stumpy. He pushed her and grabbed her hair, so she kicked him really hard in his ghoulies, causing him to fall to his knees, howling in pain, with his eyes rolling. Kicker and Stumpy were also howling but with laughter and not because they were in pain. The following day the kids left the school premises again. However, Mrs Applejack saw them and she waited for them to come back. As soon as she saw them she said, Just where have you kids been? Nowhere miss, said Grumpy. Just where exactly is nowhere? asked Mrs Applejack. We were playing at my house, miss, said Grumpy. Oh, you were, were you? Haven't you kids been told over and over again that you are not allowed to leave the school premises until home time? Yes, miss, answered the kids. 
I'll let you all off this time, but if you leave the school again, there will be consequences. Is that understood? Yes, miss, said the kid. Of course, they didn't take, the kids didn't take any notice and that, as they continued to leave the school premises when they weren't supposed to, but they made sure that they were, they were more careful. However, what they didn't realise was that every day Mrs Applejack was watching them and keeping a record of all the times they left the school premises without permission. She did this with the knowledge of the headmistress, Mrs Tinker, for two whole weeks. Then one day she asked the gang to stay behind after school to help her with something. They did as they were told and Mrs Applejack asked them to go to Mrs Tinker's office. And they did. When they got there, Mrs Tinker said to them, Please sit down, all of you. Now I understand that you kids have been leaving the school premises every day without permission. No we haven't miss, said Kicker. If that's the case then why has Mrs Applejack been keeping a record of all the times you've left the school when you weren't supposed to, asked Mrs Tinker. Don't know miss, answered the kid. Mrs Tinker phoned their parents and got them to come to the school. Then, with their permission, she caned the kids hard on their bones and excluded them for a week. She also gave them three times the amount of homework to do compared to what they usually get. When they got home, their dad smacked them even harder on their bones. Then they made them sit and do all the schoolwork they'd been given to do. They were all grounded for two weeks. However, being grounded didn't stop the kids from going out and meeting up. Every day, as soon as their families left the house, they went out to play and came home before anyone else did. All of their parents thought they were doing their homework they went when they were sat at their desk in their bedrooms. When their exclusion was over and they went back to school, Mrs Applejack was away for a month due to a family bereavement and a supply teacher was taking their class. Mrs Tinker was off sick due to a broken ankle after a car accident and she would be away recovering for at least eight weeks. There was a standing run in the school in her absence. None of the new teachers knew about the little monsters and when the supply teacher left the classroom she left the register on her desk and the kids were outside watching her sneakily. Kika went in and quickly scribbled all their names off the register. The whole time Mrs Applejack was away, the kids stayed away and they had an absolute ball. When Mrs Applejack came back, she couldn't understand why the kids' names were no longer on the class register. So during the lunch hour, she phoned their parents to find out if they'd left and moved to a new school. Of course, the kids hadn't moved to a new school. When they all went home that night, the kids were all smacked hard on their bums and sent to bed mega early. The next morning, their parents went into school with them and then the temporary headmistress, Mrs Pillow, excluded them from a, for a month and gave them the cane in front of their parents. She gave them all the work to do that they'd missed when, when Mrs Applejack was away and the work they were supposed to do when they were last excluded. Of course, the kids used the exclusion to their full advantage. As soon as their families left, all left their, their house, they did. Sometimes they went to the skate park. Sometimes they went to the new skate park. Sometimes they went to the swing. Sometimes they went to the play park. And other times they played at each other's houses. They had no choice but to do the schoolwork they'd been given because their parents made them. However, their parents couldn't understand why the kids still had so much work to do. They soon found out the next day when Kicker's parents caught them playing on the play park. They were all taken back to Kicker's house and her mum found each of their parents. They were all smacked hard on their bums again so hard that they couldn't sit down because it hurt too much. Of course, the little monsters being little monsters, they still didn't learn their lesson. 
End of part 12. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Hope you like it. Bye.